Journey to the West, Chapter Six: The Dragon King. What's wrong with our sword and spears? Asked the gibbon. They're fine for no more monkey and apes, said Wukong. But I am very powerful. I need much heavier weapon. The gibbon fought for a minute. The Dragon King lives at the bottom of the Eastern of Sea, he said. Maybe he has a weapon you can use. That's a good idea, said Wukong. I will be back soon. Said he said a quickly quick spell so he could breathe underwater. Then he dived into the stream. He swam to the ocean and went deeper and deeper. Soon he arrived at a large palace. The Dragon King and the dra Dragon Queen were sitting at the table having tea. The Dragon King looked over when Wu Kong walked in. "Who are you?" asked the Dragon King. "I'm King of the Fruit and Flower Mountain," said Wu Kong. "My name is Sun Wu Kong." It's nice to meet you," said the queen. "Would you like some tea?" "No, thank you," said Wu Kong. "I need a heavy weapon because I'm as strong as a god. I want one of yours." "Well," said the Dragon King. "I suppose I could find a weapon. Find a weapon for you." The Dragon King looked at the turtle soldier. "Find a heavy weapon for Sun Wu Kong." The turtle went out of the room. Soon he came back, slowly dragging a huge sword. He dropped the sword, then fell down out of breath. Wu Kong picked up the sword with no trouble at all. Swish, swish, he went sword through the air, pretending to fight. This sword is too light," said Wu Kong. "Find me a better weapon." This monkey's root," the Dragon Queen whispered to her husband. "You are right, dear," said the Dragon King, whispered back. "Let's find him something quickly so he will." Leave. A few minutes later, several turtles and octopuses grabbed animals and spear into the room. "Dear," said the Dragon King. That looked like a very help, very heavy weapon, right, Wu Kong? Wu Kong lifted the spear and began stabbing at the air. He shook his head. This spear is too light. The Dragon King snorted. This that spear is very heavy. How would you say it's too light? To me, it's light," said Wu Kong. "Find me something else." We don't have anything else," said the Dragon King. "That is the heaviest weapon we have." Who can stop his foot? I'm not leaving until I get what I want. This is an outrage," said the Dragon King. The Queen whispered to him again. "What about the magical iron ball from the chancery? I'm sure that's heavy enough." We can't give that to him," said the Dragon King. "It's a treasure from heaven." "Who cares?" said the Queen. "I just wander this monkey out of my palace." The Dragon King sighed. "Who will come? We might have something heavy enough for you. Bring it here," said Wu Kong. "We can," said the Dragon King. "It's too heavy for anyone to live in. To live." But if you can live, we will let you have it. Show me where is it," said Wu Kong. The group went to Chesori. The enormous iron pillar stood in the center of the room. The beam of golden light shone from it. The pillar was used to measure all the ocean and rivers," said the Dragon King. Wu Kong went closer and looked up at the large. Piece of iron. The, king, the dragon king folded his arms. If you can pick it up, you can have it. <laughs>